Hello everybody and welcome to Finnish Cottage Simulator. If you're thinking, hmm, this Finnish game looks a bit like another Finnish game I know quite well, it seems to have taken a bit of inspiration from my summer car. Um, but then it's a Finnish simulator that's held in the Finnish wilderness, so it's going to be kind of like my, my summer car. But hey, it's been eight years since my summer car, so it's about time we had a new variant of it. We can do a couple of little things with our character. Not a lot, though. Uh, not at this stage anyway. We can change the colour of his jumper or his uh, his John shirt. Uh, that's about it, really. But actually, we'll go with that one. That's changed it quite nicely. We can change the colour of our cargo pants or we can wear jeans. Not a lot of option there. Or we can wear sneakers, flip-flops or the boots. I think I'm going to stay with some boots, to be honest with you. Uh, we're in the wilderness. It makes the most sense. So we'll save our character and let's play the game. After a long career, Seppo has finally retired. To celebrate this, he goes to his cottage all alone, like a true Finnishman. Finnish Cottage Simulator Summer of 2004. Look at the driving skills there. Clearly a former rally driver. And here we are. This is our cottage. Well, that is our cottage right there. I've played a little bit of the game just to get used to it as much as I can. So I'll talk through that in a second. I like this, though. Our ringtone on our phone is the theme to the game. And this is just the uh, the Finnish Cottagers Association. Basically, that that's the tutorial, but it doesn't tell you anything. Basically, all it tells you is uh, that we're not even hearing them this time. Let's end the call. Basically, all that is is the tutorial, and it tells you how to walk. And that's basically it. So, uh, yeah, we don't need that. So this is our cottage on the lake. Very, very nice indeed. What a nice place to come for summer holidays and all that kind of thing. Nice little lake. We can catch fish in there and do all that kind of stuff as well. There's a shop somewhere over there. Anyway, first things first, we have our journal. Uh, as well that is the map there unfortunately that is as zoomed in as it goes so yeah you can't really see too much it basically goes around in a big loop a bit like my summer car actually it goes around in a big loop i think we are the top red dot and the bottom one i think is the shop uh and then there's loads of places in between but we're gonna have to discover that on our own because that map is essentially useless uh, <laughs> because you can't zoom it in i don't know what anything what anything says there so uh that's not Super helpful. That's what that is. I'll show you around the place because I have had a, uh, a little walk around already. This is the sauna. So we can come here at the end of the day or any time of day, I suppose, and come for a nice sauna. Nice view out the window as well, but we can come for a nice sauna occasionally. So we'll, we'll make sure we do that. We'll maybe do that at the end of the episode if we get time. Over there, we have our sort of shed. Uh, unfortunately, we've got a wasp's nest outside. Now, I've booted this game up a couple of different times just to see. And these nests seem to generate in different spots um, when you start the game. I don't know if they keep coming back in different spots. Who knows? But if you, I think if you get stung too many times, you will die. So you want to avoid that. I haven't actually worked out how you get rid of them yet. So if you do know, if I don't find out in this episode, please let me know how you get rid of the wasp's nest because I have no idea. We can, though... As long as we open the door, Maska. we can just run through and they'll just go back to their nest. It doesn't matter if you get stung like once or they come near you just once or something, but if it's prolonged, that's when you're in a bit of trouble. So this is like our shed. So in here we've got a uh, propeller for the boat because we've got a boat to go across the lake. I think there's some fuel in here as well, which we'll need. I think these cans, I'm not sure what these spray cans are for. I don't know if they're for colouring, like spraying paint on cars or bikes and stuff like that no idea we've got a barbecue which i think we can cook on we've got some charcoal some charcoal down here and we have got some fire starter so hopefully we can have a barbecue so maybe we'll have a barbecue at the end and a beer or something I'm not sure what that is like a what is this uh ashtray maybe for the barbecue to get the coals probably isn't it probably we'll leave that down there uh, yeah, so that's what this room is. 
And we'll just quickly run outside. Now, I've shown you the saw already. Now, so far, the couple of times I have booted the game up, yeah, the first thing you need to do is find the key. So, for some reason, we've hidden the key somewhere and we can't remember where it is, so you can't find the key. That's all that says there. So, I haven't seen it so far. And obviously, I know what I'm looking for, so I'm guessing it's possibly over here in the toilet. Uh-oh. Well, that's not very handy. So there's a wasp's nest in the toilet. Can't see a key, mind. Whoa, run, 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 run. So we're going to have to get rid of these wasps. Because that is an issue. I can't go to the toilet. So, uh, yeah, that is a bit of a problem. Didn't see the key there, though. It was there on when I came on to have a little playthrough before. I've also found it in the sauna. So we'll have another look in the sauna just to see if I missed it. But it seems to show up in different places every single time, so every time you play the game, it's slightly different. Can't see the key. So it's not in here. Do we see it in the shed? This uh, bike, we can use this bike as well. I'll probably drive around the map a little bit later on and show you around the map. There's not a lot to uh, show. It's mostly just driving through trees, but we'll do it anyway. Ah, there's the key. Got it. All right, so with that, we can get inside our cottage. So I'll show you the cottage. So just before we go through the front door, I've not actually, uh, actually been up here. I, can't actually, I don't even know if I can go up here. The ladder is, is not letting me. Okay, well, let me show you inside the cottage first, and then we'll, we'll head up there afterwards. I think that's our bedroom is up there. So this is the uh, the general cottage, though. So we've got a fire. Uh, I don't know if you can cook on that or if you can only cook on the barbecue. Um, I suppose you can keep warm with it. This we can make coffee with. We've got some mosquito spray, which sadly doesn't work on the wasps. I've tried. Uh, in here, we have uh, plates, cups, that kind of stuff. Pretty standard. Uh, we haven't gotten anything under the sink yet, but you've got storage space for when you go to the shops. Cutlery. I don't know if you need it, but it's there. Uh, we have coffee and filter bags. Uh, we have some sugar and some dried yeast for making kill you. Because yes, we can make kill you in this game, just like my summer car. I think these drawers are empty, so we've just got extra storage space, basically. Uh, we've got a fridge and a microwave, radio as well. We need to put the power on, that's right beside there, but we'll put it on later. Uh, we've got a guitar, which you can sort of play uh, if we equip it into play mode but i don't know how it works to be honest with you it sort of goes into play mode and then i don't know it, it doesn't always work you you press it and then sometimes sometimes he'll play something and then other times there we go you just play those with the number keys yeah it's about all you can do with it Smash it on the floor like a rock star. Uh, yeah, so that's the inside of our cottage. So this is where we live. And we're the base of all operations. I'm going to try and go upstairs. This this could do with adjusting slightly because our character doesn't seem to... If we crouch and go up crouch. Does that work? Aha, that works. So we've got upstairs as well then. So up here we have TV. I'm not going to turn that on. Apparently... Um, some of the TV shows can crash the game because they put an update out, I think, yesterday. Uh, that means you can you can turn that off by default so they don't actually show anything anyway. Um, so I'm not going to turn that on yet, but there are some TV shows. I assume they're quite sort of comedic, but I don't know. Torch, which is pretty handy. I don't know whether we should leave that up here or not. We've got our bed. What have we got down here? It looks like we've got a rifle. Ah, I wonder... I wonder if... We've got some bullets as well. I wonder if we could shoot the, the wasp's nest with this. I've not actually found this before. Hmm. I'm going to I'm gonna give it a go. I think this is for... Uh, in, in actual terms. I think this is for... Uh, deer. I think you can hunt deer. You can go fishing. We can go and get fish from the lake. Um, I think we can hunt deer. So obviously we, we're going to need food. I'm not entirely sure if that's a thing at the moment that you need it, but I imagine it will be at some point. 
Um, yeah, we can hunt animals to, to get food. We can go to the shop as well and buy the meat already done, um, which we'll probably do more often than not, to be honest. But if we're in a pinch, I suppose we can. All right, let's see if we can get rid of this. Uh, well, we didn't fire it. Have we got no bullets? Okay, we've got no bullets. I thought it might have had a bullet in because he seemed to load it, didn't he? I'm guessing we've got no ammo. Not entirely sure how we do this yet. Take ammo too. There we go. Let's fully load this thing. There we go. Now we've got bullets. I had no idea if this is even going to work. But it's the only thing I've not tried. So I've done like two little playthroughs. I was like partway through making an episode, but because I didn't know what I was doing, I spent more time just wandering around not knowing what to do. So I thought I'll remake it. But this is the only thing I've not tried. Why can't I fire this thing? Uh... Ah, there we go. Okay, that worked. I think... I... Ow, 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 ow. They're attacking us, but I think it worked. Well, quick, move, 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 move. We are being stung, but at least it's down. Let's try this one as well. This is the first thing that's worked to get it down. I've sprayed it with the spray can. I've put mosquito spray towards it. Okay, that's that's an improvement. Okay, I've not I've not achieved this before. All right, let's put the gun down there where we won't forget it. I'm gonna go, go and dunk this in the water. I think makes the most sense to me. All right, I think we've got rid of the wasps' nest, which is fantastic because they've been annoying me. Like I say, when I was making an episode, because I didn't really know what I was doing, I think I got about half an hour in. Oh, it's despawned. Okay, so it just despawns anyway, so I didn't actually need to pick it up. What have we got here? Some booze. And why we keep our... Probably some sort of vodka or kill you or something in here, but why not? We'll, we'll leave it in there for when we're... Uh, taking our time in there and having a drink. Okay, let's uh, let's empty the boot of the car because we have brought some supplies with us. You never have too much beer, <laughs> so let's have some beer. And we've also brought some more of this actually. So let's let's pick up our whatever this is. Put some inside because I, I have smashed. You can smash bottles and stuff. I've already managed to do that quite a few times. So. Nearly did it again there. But yeah, unlike my summer car, I'm not sure if we actually do get to do up a car in this or you just do jobs for your neighbours. I think at the moment, possibly just jobs for the neighbours. I'm not 100% sure. But a thermos. Unfortunately, you can't place things. It's actually really annoying. You, you have to throw everything everywhere. And then you end up with the same thing happening every single time. Forget it. It's there. We know where it is. I think that's basically so you can make a... Got a mosquito near us. I think we can take that with us. Oh, we've smashed something. Did we have a second bottle? I, see? You see? That's happened to me before. And you just smash your bottle in the boot of the car. We've just lost all that vodka. They're not too bad because they slide, so we'll just slide them on the table. They look overly familiar. In Finland, do you do you have crates of beer in blue cases? Because my only... I mean, obviously, I know of Finland outside of gaming world. Through motor racing and just it's Finland. Um, but do you guys have blue cases? If anyone's watching from Finland, is this a thing? Because 
in the two Finnish games I have now played, both of them, your beer is, is delivered in a blue case. Let's have a bottle, shall we? To celebrate getting rid of those wasps' nests. That was thirsty work, that was. What a nice place this is. So we'll go and see some of the neighbours soon. Uh, what else have we got in here? I'll take the sausages in. We can try cooking those. We'll try and have a barbecue later. If we can cook some sausages. But I'll show you around some of the area first. And then we'll decide whether we want to make a little series out of this game or not. As you can see, the, the physics are interesting. And some of the buttons and stuff that you have to press are a bit annoying as well. I don't put my... Because you can't put the beer down, and I'm afraid I'm going to smash it. I'm going to take it outside in case I smash it. Because I'm almost certainly, by trying to put this down, going to smash it. See? You can't you can't put anything down. Ah, it's a good job we got plenty. Okay, uh, let's put these in the fridge. We're going to have to go outside to the power on. I don't know if they go off or not, but we'll assume that they might. All right, let's close that. We'll leave the beer out of the fridge for now. It's been more hassle than it's worth trying to put it in, I think. Yeah, we've got power out here. I don't know how much this costs. Or if it even there is a charge for it. So we'll turn it on. Which uh, should enable us to use the radio. Nice 2004 finished rock there. Uh, we can use the microwave to cook as well. The fridge lights up as well. We can't really see it at the moment. It does light up. Okay, uh, that's basically all of that done then. Does the journal say anything? Let's have a look. Not at the moment. So I think we'll, we can either take the boat. and Well, I'm going to build the boat. Now you can take the boat across, uh, which I have done before. You, so you can take the boat over here. Uh, I didn't actually find the shop when I tried it before, though. I think you have to keep walking quite a distance. So I might take the bike because it's quicker to go across on the boat. But the walk at the other end is quite long. It's quite a long drive, but you don't have to walk at the end. So we'll take the bike, I think, to the shop. Uh, we can stop off at a neighbor's on the way as well. Uh, we have a, a neighbor over here somewhere. Um, I can't remember what his name is now. We'll go and see him maybe later. But we'll put the engine on the boat so it's ready to go. For whenever we need it. But I don't think there's any sort of objective to this game other than just enjoy it just live live at your cottage do things for your neighbors when they ask for it or go and hang out with them you can play cards with them drink with them play games this game's multiplayer as well by the way you can play this multiplayer i've no idea how that works not tried it not even seen it done um but you can play this multiplayer so you and your friends can basically come to a cottage and just hang around and do silly things um so that's interesting. It will be interesting to see how that works. Uh, should we put a boat in the lake? I suppose we ought to. This is awkward. So I've done this once before. This is awkward as anything because you can see it says one to push, which isn't too bad. And now I'm used to it. It's not too bad. Because now I know to crouch. When you do this standing up, if you look at a... Uh, a seat for example it comes up with sit and it's also the one key the amount of times when i was playing around with this just getting used to it that i pressed one to push and ended up sitting in the boat i'm telling you we must have been well beyond 20 times it, it was really annoying but if you crouch you don't really have that issue and you can push it quite nicely in so we'll take a ride on the boat later it should be all right there. I don't think it'll move. Uh, we'll, we'll go over there to our friend later on that. I think we'll take a little ride on the bike. And we'll go and check the shop out and see what the supplies are like over there. 
Okay, so we've got full fuel. I don't know how far fuel goes. I don't know if we can get any on the back. Probably not. Okay. So... Get the thing started. Away we go. Leave the boot up. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's nobody around. So yeah, we've got the uh, the the old dirt track system to leave the property. We really are just in the middle of nowhere. Now, last time I tried this, I turned right and drove what felt like forever and found absolutely nothing. So I think I took a wrong turn. I must have missed like a dirt track. So I'm going to go left this time. I think the main road goes more of the way around. But you're going to have to learn the map. So the stuff over there, I have no idea what's up there. It's a, it really is a game of exploration. So there will be... Uh, and I don't think you can use the car, by the way. For some reason, you can't get back in the car. But if we do carry this on as a series, there'll be episodes where we just kind of load up with a few... I don't know if we can get, like, a box or something for the bike. Load up with some food and drink, and we'll just go exploring for an episode. It's, it's one of those kind of games. We're just going to... We'll go around, explore, see what we find. It's not really going to be an objective. It's going to be, you know, start a video and see what happens. All right, I think if we turn left here, this is our neighbor's house. I think I'm only guessing this from when I've looked at the map and gone down the ditch. Not, not very good at all. Oh no. Can we get out of this ditch? Uh oh. Yeah, I only know this is the neighbor's house because uh, I have been on the boat. Can we get off? There we go. I don't even know if I can get that out of there. I hope I can get that out of there. All one. Aha. Can. And if I hold that, can will he keep pulling it or? Okay, lesson number one: do not fall down the ditch. But yeah, from the boat I saw a house, so I assume this is it. Uh, pull up. There we go. Oh no 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 no! Uh -oh, we've taken the engine off. We've taken the engine off. Um, put the engine back in, please. Thank you. Okay, that, that was a little bit too easy to... Uh, I don't like the fact you can just take your engine off. Okay, we're away. Do not fall down the ditch. It's it's quite a pain to get you back. I don't know how much... I mean, obviously, there's some influence here for my summer car. But I don't know how much influence in terms of how many trolley type things like that might happen to us. We'll find out. All right. I don't know if I would just throw it on the floor all the time. Is that because I didn't buy oh, it? It's because I didn't put the kickstand down, isn't it? Uh, how do we stand this thing up? Pull up. There we go. Oh, this is a nightmare. Sorry about this. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? All right, stand. Uh, this is not going well. I just want to turn the thing off. Use. Right. E. Lower the stand. Get off the bike. Okay. Still didn't work. Never mind. Let's, let's go and see who this is. I am so sorry. You probably don't even know who I am. I've just literally come on your driveway, crashed my bike twice, and now I'm making my introduction to you. Talk to unknown. Hello. Who might you be, young man? I am Seppo. Who are you? Marijata. Doesn't ring a bell. Whose son are you? Uh, Marikatian's son. Had a lot of fun with that boy back in the day. What are you doing here? I'm retiring here. Just seeing who's around the lake. That's nice. By the way, I have a few problems at my cottage since I haven't been here in a while. Could you help me cut my grass? Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> What's the reward? Straight in. Are you going to pay us? Are you going to pay us? I mean, we should probably ask that, really. Let's go sure. Let's do this. All right, the mower is in the shed. Thank you. Okay. All right, slow. We're going to mow some. We're going to mow some grass. So rather, I was going to go around to the shop, but. Uh, 
Um, should we be concerned that uh, we're going to cut the grass for this lady? And the first thing she did was go and get her rifle out. Not, you know, do you fancy a cup of tea or, you know, any drink or anything? Can I get you a snack? I'll get my rifle out. Hmm. Is that if we don't do a good job or is that just to keep us safe while we're mowing? Or is that like the game saying, hey, look, a rifle. Although we've already got it done, so. Where's the shed? Yeah, I was just going to go and uh, go to the shop and show you the shop. Oh, there it is. But it looks like we're going to mow some, mow some grass now. So I guess I'll show you the shop next time. Because by the time we've done this, I'm not sure we'll get the time. This is the sort of... This is basically, though, this is what the episodes are going to be about. So if you want to see a series on this... This is what it's kind of going to be like. We'll just go out one day and we could end up mowing grass. We could end up doing some fishing. We could end up, I don't know, doing all sorts of stuff. And you just go and help your neighbors, basically. But totally random tasks. Right. How do we get this thing uh, going? Turn on. It's got all its fuel, but it's not turning on. Why is it not turning on? I'm hitting one, but nothing's happening. Do I have to turn it on first? Come on, pull harder. I feel like your mower is not, not working. Do I have to prime it or something? It doesn't say anything about it being primed. Doesn't seem to want to start. Maybe if we... Uh... Maybe if we put it on the grass first, it'll start. Maybe it's a bit like you're on the wrong kind of texture. I won't start on there. No guarantees of that, but... Okay, I can't start this mower. It's just weird. It's got fuel. It's 86% full. It's got oil. So it's got 86% oil and 35% fuel, so it should work. I don't know if we need to go and get this repaired or something, but I can't get this mower working. We might have to come back for this. Oh, is that is that why? Is that why? Of course, because we haven't got the throttle open, have we? There we go. There we go. Wow, this is actually quite realistic, having to do, having to do that at the same... Okay. Use. Are we mowing? We're mowing. We're mowing. We're mowing the lawn. I tell you what, I hope she doesn't want a thorough job because. Uh... I don't want to spend the next, like, hour mowing lawn. Um. Really not sure what's happened here. Did we crash? What's going on here? That was weird. Must have got stuck on a rock or something. Yeah, I don't I don't really fancy mowing this lawn for a, for a good hour or so. Not not for this first look video, I don't anyway. run over that. I think that's like a light or something. It could be a bit easier to mow the lawn. The, the controls for this uh, mowing part of it. Ooh, this is a slope. I had to cut the grass like this in real life on a slope. 
similar to that. And when it was damp, the amount of times that you almost slipped and killed yourself with a lawnmower, you had to have it on like a bit of string. To make sure you didn't like separate yourself from the mower too much so they didn't land on you. Good fun there. I think we have to do all this in one go. I might just go home or try and get to the shop. I might try and get to the shop and come back and do this. And we'll start the second episode already mowing. If we want a second episode of this. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because otherwise I'm not going to show you the shop. And all I'm going to do is show you the mowing. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the mower off. I'll be back to finish your lawn later. I'm just going to the shop. Of course, she doesn't probably understand anything I've just said with her being finished, but it'll do. All right, pull up. Uh, oh, come on. Gotta get that used. Good. We're on. Let's get this thing started. Let's get to the shop so I can show you the shop. And have a look at the shop myself because I've not actually... Uh, I've not actually done that myself. Let's go and find the shop. You've got a little taste of the sort of thing we could just end up doing. Total random nature of the game where there will be episodes where we just mow some grass or think find stuff for people. Obviously we can make kill you and things as well so we'll be making kill you to sell. Uh, we've only got like 16 euros on us so we've not got a lot of money on us. So to be honest, I could do with uh, earning some money. So hopefully there's a financial reward for this grass. So we'll have to wait for the barbecue. We'll do that in episode two if there is an episode two. Because I think what I'll do, I'll get to the shop, show you the shop. And we'll, uh, we'll have a look around, see what you can actually do at the shop. And then I'll probably do the video, this first look video. And then if you want to see more, I will do more videos. And we'll, uh, we'll stop off and cut that grass on the way home in the next episode. And then, uh, it, well, it'll be probably the end of the day. So we'll either have a, a late night sauna and barbecue or we'll go straight to bed and then we'll have a breakfast barbecue and sauna. Something along those lines. You can see what I mean, though. The, it takes a long time to drive anywhere. Quite a long way. It was actually longer the other way, I think. So this is the short way. Now, you can probably cut through a little bit. Um, once you get to the right part of the map, you'll be able to cut through on a dirt road. But until you know the map, you, you could just be driving down a dead end. So I'm going to try and stick to the main road if I can. And hope that there's a, some sort of signpost for a shop. Or it looks like there might be something down a road somewhere. I think the shop is on a main road, so as long as we stick to main roads, we should find it. I have absolutely no idea how much fuel we've got left. 93%, so that's okay. We don't, we're not burning fuel too badly on this. I don't know where you buy fuel from. I hope at the shop there's something down there. absolutely no idea what's down there. See what I mean? We, he's, you could... Try and use a cut through like that, and that could lead absolutely nowhere. I think you have to charge your phone as well. So we'll have to keep track of our mobile phone. Okay. We may have made a wrong turn somewhere here. Or not turned off. Oh, no, maybe we turn off here. Because it looks like the road spot. So that must be... So when I drove round before... Uh, off camera when I was just playing around. I got to the other side of that, I think, and couldn't cross it. So I should have taken a dirt road probably before I got to it. I think this dirt road leads to the shop, maybe? I don't know. It's all good experience for us because if this does become a series, I'm going to need to know where I'm going. Okay, I've just pulled over here just to see if I can see. So I think we're on the right road. I think we got to the bottom part of the map, but... Although I don't know if... Actually, I don't know if we did or not. 
I've absolutely no idea. I've just been driving down here for quite a while. And so far, no shop. So I just thought I'd get off the bike and see if we're heading in the right direction. But honestly, I've no idea if we are or not. There's been two dirt roads go off, but they had mailboxes at the end. So I thought they're probably, um, you know, the residents. I can't imagine the shop would have one. But this is really not clear whether this is the right way or not. So we may get to the shop, we may not. If we, uh, if we don't find it, I'll start the next episode, if there is one, at the shop. I hope there is a car you can get in this game, though. Or we can somehow start using our other car again, because the bike is a little slow for travelling around such a large map. Okay, what have we got here? Power. Well, if the power lines are coming through here, there must be some reason for it. So there must be something around. I like we're going dirt road again, though. Absolutely no idea where we are. This is where the map could do with being bigger. I get the feeling we're on a rally stage of, of sorts here. Right, what are we coming up to here? This looks like some sort of main road. Ah, is this the crossroads at the bottom of the map, I think? Possibly. Absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea where we are. I think it's, I think it's probably left. We found a main road. So that's good. I think we're at the very bottom of the map. So I think this map is absolutely huge. Or we've gone round in some sort of circle. And I'm back on the main road heading home. I don't know. But I think I think it's this way. The power lines are carrying on this way. Are they on the we we'll have to look on the map and see if we can see the power lines, because they would be a good reference point for us. Okay, what's this place coming up? I think this might be the shop. I think we found it. Okay, there is a dirt road. We could have taken a shortcut. There's a dirt road that's probably goes to the middle of the main road where we were, so I've driven all the way around. But I found the shop. Wow, this takes a long time to get to. So I've probably... I don't know how much exactly, but I've probably cut at least three or four minutes away from the footage. Well, I will have done. Right, can we get off? No, get off the bike. Yes, there we go. So yeah, what I think I've just done... Back on the bike again. What I think I've just done in the journal. It's a shame I can't because I can't show you on the mouse. So I think I came down that whole left hand side and then we just got to the main road there. So that is a long drive. But as I said, I tried this off camera. I didn't I didn't know where I was going and I tried walking it and it just kept on going forever. Anyway, let's check the shop out because that's what we're here for. So we can buy, it looks like we can buy fuel from here, possibly, or is this just his tank? Hmm, that might just be his tank. So I don't know where we can get fuel from, unless we get it from inside in a jerry can or something. Right, let's see what we can, oh, don't tell me he's closed. He's closed. Unbelievable, he's closed. What time is it? Oh, it's 8pm. That's the problem with being in Finland, and the UK for that matter, <laughs> when you're in the middle of summer. And these mosquitoes are all over us. We've got no mosquito spray on me. Yeah, when you... Uh, in, this, in the summer, it's it's like this till like 10 o'clock at night. And in Finland, it's going to be like this till like 11 or 12, isn't it? 
Let's say we could swap these. Slap them away. Got one. Got it. Sounds like there's another one. Got it. Oh, there's more. That's a, that's, that's a different thing. Right. So we can't go in the shop. After all of that, we can't even go in the shop. And by the time I drive home, it'll probably be like midnight or something. So that has not gone well. That has not gone well at all. So, I don't know. Between the episodes, I'll I'll either hang around here or find a... I'll drive away and find a better route here or something so we can come here. So if you want to see more of this, let me know. And we'll have a look around. So let, we can sort of see in the shop. So we get charcoal from here. Uh, food and drink. Looks like there's some coffee and stuff for kill you. Buckets to put kill you in. Stuff for mosquitoes, I think, is over there. I don't know what that is. It's like some sort of fire pit or something. Uh, tackle box for fishing. Beer, I should, would imagine we can get from here. Can't see fuel, so we'll have to go and search for that. So in the next episode, if you want to see what... What we will do, uh, I'll either still be here and hopefully this will then be open, or I'll have made my way somewhere else and we'll stop by here on the way back. Uh, and then we'll go and cut that grass, and then hopefully we'll have a barbecue and a sauna. And that'll be the plan for the next video, but who knows? Hello, Mr. Rat. Uh, who knows what uh, is actually going to happen, because we might run into somebody who wants us to do something and we'll end up doing somebody else's job. Who knows? I think that's what this game is going to be about. But if you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you for another video very soon.